hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you how you can create and use aws builder id if you have ever worked with aws related services you know that it is pain in the back to configure and use their aws credentials you not only have to sign up for an aws account with your email address you have to provide your credit card then you have to either grab the credentials which include your IAM secret and keys, or you have to configure AWS CLI profile. You know what I mean, right? That is why thankfully AWS has come up with this new ID, which is called as AWS Builder ID, which is a personal profile that provides access to select tools and services, including Amazon Q developer, Amazon code catalyst, and few of the training and certification. AWS Builder ID represents you as an individual and it doesn't have to do anything with your AWS account, thankfully. Like other personal profiles, AWS Builder ID remains with you as you progress through your personal, educational and career goals. So if you just want to play around with Amazon Q, then I would suggest instead of signing up for AWS account and all that stuff, just go to profile.aws.amazon.com create your aws builder id with your email account and then simply use it that's it aws builder id is free you only pay for aws resources you consume in your aws account that's about it aws builder id complements any aws account you may already own or want to create while an aws account acts as a container for aws resources you create and it provides a security boundary for those resources the builder id represents you as an individual so how do you create it as i said you need to go to um, profile.aws.amazon.com and i will drop the link in video description and from there you will be presented with this screen just type in your email address here so as you can see that I have just put in my Gmail address and I know that it's a public information so I'm not going to worry about you guys spamming me. Anyway, so you just need to click next from here. If you already have an AWS Builder ID, just click on the already have AWS Builder ID sign in and then log in from there. So let me click on next here. And once you sign in, you will be presented with this screen where it is showing you your profile information as what is the name, what is the email address. And if you want to delete this, just go to privacy and data and then click on delete AWS Builder ID, it will remove. Also, you can request your own data from AWS. Also, the security tab shows you um, which devices you are logged in from. And then you can also register for multi-factor authentication, which is always a very good idea. And you can delete all of your active session pro from top right and you can change your password. Now, this is a username, password or AWS Builder ID you can use with Amazon Q developer. For example, you want to install the extension and it is going to ask you for this, which you can use in order to use it for the free tier. And I also have a video around if you want to check out as how to use AWS Builder ID with Q developer or you can use it with Code Catalyst. And if you have are planning to attempt any certification and training you might use this aws builder id so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it this is all i wanted to share with you in terms of this builder id if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching